as the Olympic champions and number four seeds Li Yang and Wang Chilin make their way onto centre stage. Won their gold medal in Tokyo last year, beating Li Junhui and Li Yuchen in the final two straight games. They got better and better as the Olympic competition progressed. But they've had their problems since the Olympic Games. They took some time off and they've not really rekindled the form that we saw in Tokyo last year. Now, this will be a second meeting between these two pairs. And the first meeting uh, was in 2019 in the second round of the Orléans Masters. That's a Super 100 event. And Li Yang and Wang Chilin had recently formed their partnership when they met in France. Red, Two straight black. games it was. Red, there is confirmation you. of that. 37 black. minutes for that 21-16, 22-20 victory. One receiving this way. So I have a feeling that the Indonesian pair chose to serve, having won the toss which means that the Olympic champions got to choose which end they wanted to start. Well, it was a magnificent victory at the Asian Championships for the Indonesian pair. Beat the Olympic bronze medalists in the final. Having beaten the world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, in the quarterfinal of Fian and Ardianto, in the semi-finals, and it was a great set of results. Pramudia Kusuma Wadana is 21 years of age from Sukabumi in West Java. That's about five foot eight, 173, and they're currently enjoying their sixth consecutive week at a career high of 16. Yeremia Eric Yucha Yakub Rambetan. I think we'll just refer to him as a Rambitan from now on. 22 years of age uh, from Depot in West Java. Part of the Jakarta metropolitan area. So they beat the English pairing, the left and right handed combination of Ben Lane and Sean Vendy in the first round. But two tournaments, the two finals this year from seven tournaments, not only winning the Babington Asia Championships were also silver medalists at the Southeast Asian Games in Hanoi. So to the Olympic champions who are the number four seeds and this is Li Yang, 26 years of age, born in Taipei and they're one place down from their career high of three where they spent 67 consecutive weeks. The third appearance here at the Indonesia Open as play? a combination. Last year, they were the number three seeds and lost in the second round to Gosi Fei and Nur Izzedin. Wang Chilin is 27 years of age and he's making his sixth appearance in total. He's a tall man, just over six foot one, 186. And they played just two tournaments so far this year, and they were a quarter-finalist in both the Thailand Open and the Indonesia Masters last week. In the first round, they beat Jompo and Kedrin from Thailand, 21-13, 21-15. So our court officials from Canada and Austria Get ready. So this to reach the quarter final of the Indonesia Open, the second of the Super 1000 events for 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wan Chin Lin and Li Yang, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Jeremia Eric Yok, Jacob, Ambitan, and 
Italia Kosovo Albania Indonesia From Odia Kosovo Albania to serve to watch in Lin Laval play so the Asian champions nearest to us, Kasuma Wadana and Aramidhan, up against the Olympic champions. Steen, it really was a wonderful set over. of results, One wasn't it, for love. the Indonesian pair winning those Asian championships in Manila? That was. Shows the uh, not only the uh, depth, but the, uh, at the top of uh, Indonesian men's yeah. double. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they're, they're, they have a broad strong team, yeah. not just a broad team, a broad strong team. Yeah, well, there's a fourth-ranked Indonesian pair, and they're number 16 in the world, so yeah. four pairs in the top 16 is quite extraordinary. <laughs> lovely, lovely play Two, from Morambekan. Good change of pace. And one has to say, in a way, that I think the Indonesians, of course, they played more tournaments so far this year, the Chinese Taipei pair only two tournaments so far, but, uh, you know, I think the Indonesians uh, are in better form yeah. than the Olympic champions. But the thing is, I, mean, two, I remember uh, calling the uh, match where um, Chinese Taipei played India during the Thomas Cup. And Li Yang and Wang Chilin, they played magnificent. And I was sort of like, this is the hole where they won all three tournaments last year and so on, the hole in Thailand. Yeah. And then suddenly they were knocked out of the uh, Thailand Open, and I couldn't understand it because I felt they played excellent. But um, they have not been consistent. No. Is it fair comment for me to say that, you know, since the Olympic gold medal, they really haven't been the same pair? I know they took some time off. Yeah, Wang Chilin recorded a, a, a song, I think. So um, they, they've been uh, doing lots of stuff. And, uh, and I think we, we underestimate sometimes how big an Olympic win is uh, first ever gold medal for Chinese Taipei. Four, two. And we discussed it just in the earlier match that Axelsen is perhaps the best playing Olympic men's singles champion ever, performing at a high, if not higher level than at the Olympics just shortly after. But it takes time, and one of the things we can see is that uh, Ranky Reddy and Shetty, as you mentioned, they, they've Four. withdrawn from this tournament because they're not finished celebrating. It's a month since they won the Thomas Cup, and they're still celebrating. They're still getting awards yeah. all over India. And especially when you're a new pair or when you're new to that situation, you're not really used to coping with it, and you tend to sometimes perhaps say yes to too many invitations so yeah. if you want to perform on a high level. you've got to uh, perform and one of the things at the Olympics is that I mean, they're both really really strong but Li Yang he found a, a totally different gear in that yeah. tournament and and that is um, how he plays plays a big role in, in how the pair uh, performs and when he hits his top level and they're very very difficult to handle yeah that is over 
five, oh, one, seven. Got back exceptionally well to that flick serve. Now he took that shuttle in. I think it had basically gone past him, but just a, a strong forearm tipping over the top of the shuttle. Six, seven. Steen, I know you've Six. been calling the last three matches. Is the drift back to what it originally was, fast coming towards us? Oh, and I think we're it looking is. down on the board? Yes, Nine. I think it is. Six. Yeah. Sideways drift as well. Yeah, same as, as yes. it's been. In the last ten days. From left to right. Well done by... Uh, What are we calling it? Pramucha? Kusuma Watana? Kusuma Watana. But it's Yuri Mia that will just shorten to Aranda Pan. Right. That is over. Seven. Ten. He played it backwards. He did. He missed it, and on his rebound action of his racket, he hit it backwards. Take a look at this. Well, that's extraordinary. You don't see that very often, do you? Oh no, it wasn't on the back no. swing. He just completely mistimed it. Yeah. But it does mean that there's a three-point advantage for the Asian champion against the Olympic champions at the mid game interval. Seven minutes to play. Yeah. 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 Steve, we watched the Olympic champions in both Thailand and last week, and you know, I know you've already talked about Li Yang and how he raised his game to a different level in Tokyo, but do you not think in general that 11, the Olympic eight, champions are a little play. bit passive, they're a little bit defensive at the moment? They won their gold medal with an all-out yeah. attack. Yes, and, and that's, that's the thing. They don't get on the attack. They don't get on the attack. And the, um, the stadiums that we're playing in, in my opinion, is windier than the Olympic stadium. Yeah. Uh, so they won't be able to survive as long time in the deep, let's say they were in the same shape, they wouldn't be able to survive just as long in defense. Oh, that's, Good play. A, that's a lovely shot yeah. from Wang Chilin. Over. Jamming Line shot 12. at Kasuma Wadana. But also, I mean, the, the, the journey they've been on, you mentioned that these two pairs played in, uh, in Oleang, that was one of the seven tournaments that started the partnership of Li Yang and uh, Wang Chilin. They started out by playing seven tournaments to get high enough on the world ranking to be in position. When the Olympic qualification started in um, May 2019, oh. and ever since, they've been going full trouble. Yeah. Then there's been the lockdown. They didn't know whether the Olympics that they finally qualified for was actually going to happen. Then they are at the brink of being knocked out in the group stage. They have to beat the world number once in the last group match to um, to progress. They do it, and things go crazy from there, and they end up becoming the Olympic champions. Yeah. So something that's been going on for almost two and a half years suddenly culminates, and I, I can understand if if they are not really uh, sort of 
super focused in yet on um, on winning. They want. I, I mean, let's, don't misunderstand me. When you stand in there, you want to win the match. One yeah. million but, but challenges called the, your, in. The preparation done way before. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that any athlete in any sport can motivate themselves. You know, when you're in the spotlight, when you're in a store or yeah. an and uh, of course you're motivated to win. But what's difficult is motivating yourself on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah, clearly in well done, Ryan Judge. And it's what you do in preparation challenge and that successful. is a One challenge remaining. directly results in how 14, you do in the competition. 10, yeah. So 10. if you're struggling with motivation in preparation, you've got big problems. Just wide. Service over. 11, 14. I mean, as we also can see here, it, it's not like they can't play or anything. And, and they, they play fantastic against Jetty and Ranky Reddy in the group stage match in Thomas Cup, who then ended up heroes for India. Service over. So wonderful. 15, Next shot from Rambika. And all of their opponents are totally fired up when they play against them. Of course, yeah. And everybody's studying them. All the coaches exactly. are, are watching every video possible of yeah. the Olympic champions. They've got a target on their backs. Good shot, yeah. good follow forward too from the uh, yeah. There we saw some of the attack. 13, 15. But I mean, every player is aware that do not lift to Wang Chilin and Li Yang. That is not the way to beat them. So now they're going to have to earn the attack in the service situation in the battle for getting those lifts. Let us over. 16, 13. when they're hitting in a downward direction, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's good rotational play. into that move forward. Wonderful. 18, 15 play. Good defense. Yeah. If it was on purpose.
wide. Air, very acute that angle from the 16, tall man. Ryan Cullin. Good serves here, Wang Chilin. Yeah, that was a good one. I like the change of angle. Yeah. That is over. But determined to get on the attack. Kasuma Wadana and Arambatan. And their rewards is for game point opportunities. champions over the Olympic First champions. Yeah, they've been very alert at the front of the vault, alert in general. Kusuma Wagana and Arambitan. And going to the good. 16 minutes. Of 20 seconds from Nyan Park. Indication for the players to return to court. Second game, low ball, play. Well, the serve was so good wow. from the Rambutan. Yeah. Uh, Wang Chilin, even with his long levers, his long arms, couldn't attack it. It was fantastic. There's another good serve. I uh, didn't step into that, waited for the One. shuttle to come to oh. him. Challenge that. Pramudia Kutsuma Wardani challenges called out. That's all that was long. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Clearly long. That's the most peculiar challenge. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. Two, one, play. Yeah, that's 
a good serve from Li Yang. Three, one. Shot Serving it. situation Let. is Let. so important in men's doubles. It's important in any of the doubles disciplines, but I think more so in men's doubles, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Oh, oh. And that's also two, mm, three. Following up on our discussion, then Indonesian pairs is probably not the best opponents for uh, Li Yang and uh, Wang Chilin. And they have a, an 11 16 record against Indonesian pairs. Now, that is a little bit deceiving because. We know that Indonesia had the uh, two best pairs for a long while in, in Asan Peto and then Gideon Sukumulio and then also um, the winners of last week, Ari and um, um, Alfian. So they're the ones that have sort of um, given the defeat to Li Yang and, and Wang Chilin. But we know the Indonesians, they are so strong in the service situation, so they're definitely the ones to challenge uh, these uh, two Olympic champions. that with Rambutan, you know, when he's defending, he's sometimes, his legs are too straight, he needs to crouch down low, it's too upright in his stance, I think. Yeah. That's well yeah. played. Six, One of the things that three. speaks for the Olympic champions in this um, second game here is that they're playing up against the drift so the pressure on the service situation has eased a little bit because now there's a chance of lifting and surviving in the defense or even changing it around so the question is can they do it well enough in the long run hold up there Lee Yang Excellent play by the Indonesians. Four, six, play. Cut. Davis, over. Seven, four. Thinking about the drift, Wang Chilin. Five, seven. That's another thing that the Olympic champions did so well in Tokyo was the counter attack. Yep. Just like that. game Li Yang and he look at the reaction he knows that um, he was the one who lifted but he, in many ways he has the role of a female uh, mixed double player in this uh, men's double where he, he is the one whose responsibility 
normally like maybe, I don't know how many percentage, 80% of the times, maybe 90, maybe only 70, but he's the main responsible player for turning the defense around, making moves towards the uh, net and so on. And it takes a lot of self-confidence. And as we discussed earlier, they were they were one game from being out of the Olympics nine, against uh, Gideon and Sukumulio. Yeah. Had they gone out of the uh, Olympics as third in the group, and someone else had been the Olympic champions, uh, someone else would have won it. Yeah. And they would have gone home to uh, Chinese Taipei and said, yeah, you know, we lost in the group stage, but we feel we had the game to win the Olympics. People would have said, are you crazy? Mm. You were lucky to, to go there. Yeah. But they actually had the game. Yeah. Sometimes getting yeah. that kind of belief yeah. that, hey, you're actually good enough, that is really, really difficult. Yeah. And it's even more difficult to maintain it. in men's doubles. Back level. Oh. And all good recovery by Kusuma Wadana and Rambetan. shuttle back. Looked a little bit static, didn't he? It was totally static. I was checking your uh, uh, observation about the uh, little stiff leg player there. Rambitan and I, uh, I agree. Doubles pair from Chinese Taipei has ever won the Indonesia Open. I'm sure you remember it, Steen, back in 2010, 12 years ago. 12 years ago, no. But um, Sai, yeah, Sin, the mixed doubles player. And and no, it was it was no, it was Fang Chiamin and Li Sheng Mu. Li Sheng Mu, yeah. Okay. They, they've had good men's doubles pairs for yeah. a long, long while, but sort of took it to a new level with Bang Chilin and his uh, now coach. Well, eh? That is over. Well, I think have done pretty well here because I felt when they were 5-8 down that maybe the Olympic champions were beginning to get the measure in this second game, but they fought back brilliantly. Oh. Yeah, look at that. What a smash from Katuma Wadana. He was really quick on his feet and he covered a lot of area. Basically it goes from the front court player to killing it on the back court. Over 
crucial few points coming up. I like that lift. to challenge that, oh, they have challenged, they have challenged. It was difficult to see that they were challenging. Uh, as, as, long as, as long as the umpire sees Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. I thought the line judge was a little bit hesitant and that's why I, my reaction was yeah. I'd challenge that. And they needed. Here we go, what does the instant review say? Just long line to put it right. Challenge is successful. One challenge remaining. 14, 13, play. to step forward on the court, Li Yang and uh, Wang Chilin. They got to uh, take the shuttle earlier on the front court, even when they lift, so that they can lift more flat, so they have better chance in the defense. And even if they don't get to lift flat, they have to step forward in the defense to uh, go for the chance, give themselves some opportunities. That's yeah. well played. That's brilliant. 16, well played. Around the head intersection. A bit like Sukumolio. <laughs> ah, now that's the sort of defence you were alluding to. Yeah. Brilliant change of pace. 17, 14. on the return of serve there from Lee and tempt Kasuma Wadana into trying to play it. Yeah, and a lot probably would say, oh, he almost uh, played it directly into his racket. That's exactly it, almost. Yeah. Had he played it shorter, he would have lost it. Had he played longer, it would have gone to his partner. Out. Oh, that's oh, a challenge. Yeah, they are challenging that. Well, if they lose this One challenge, they haven't got any challenges out. left. Out but it was the umpire that's calling the front service line. Yeah, so he's, he's in a good position, but not the best position. The best is being from on the line. Here we go. Yeah, good challenge. In. Very good challenge. 19, 50. Play. Oh, goodness me, that's well taken. 20. Game They're rushing point. it off the top 50. of the tape. And five game point opportunities. 
to level this second round match at one game apiece. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. on their third game point opportunity. Game. The Olympic Second champions Li Yang and Wang Chilin converts Chilin. and falls a third 17. and deciding game. One game all. Umpar confirms one game all. Just 35 minutes into the match. Final game, love ball, play. So, third and final game on here between the Olympic Davis champions over. and the One, Asian nine. champions. Did well to stay in it in the second game. The Yang and that Wang Chilin, unfortunately, all the uh, dominated the rest of uh, the second game. Two, no. uh, he had the right idea, the Yang. He was going to go forward and challenge. kill there. Here it comes. For him it was easy. Out. There is over. Two, two three. three. Oh. 
Don't you choke. Turn it over. Four, two. Rampitan. Excellent. Taking responsibility here. Jeremiah Rampitan. Standing, well, not still, but they're again on the far side here, standing too far back, in my opinion. Uh, the Olympic champions can't really wide. do anything in the defense. That is over. Three, eight. lenses that will be extremely uncomfortable there's a bit of feather or something in his eye Play. once in Kian, he lost his lens playing Jens Eriksson and Martin Lundgaard and Jens Eriksson found it but I think he only gave it back to him in the third <laughs> game or so <laughs> yeah, that's extraordinary Ranolfson changed his racket to Sumo Adana. Nice. There he goes. champions to uh, get back into the third game after they change ends. No, I'm with you on that. But um, they, they still have a chance. Seven is over. Six. Eight ten. is uh, probably the minimum. No, it's certainly preferable. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like they say, okay, we only got two and we're not going to play anymore. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs>
Kasuma Wadana and Arambatan at the change of ends here in the deciding game. Given what you've said earlier in the match, Dean, I'm guessing that the Olympic champions have to stand their ground in defence. Uh, they've got to take the shuttle earlier on defensive play, and they've got to try and command the net position. Yes. Play. I agree. No, I'm just repeating what you had said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Service over. Seven. Eleven. Good return of serve. Service over. Only pounced Eight. on that one, Chile. Right. There's the smash from the back. Now it's about three quarter court. Now it's half court. And actually going across the body of the cross man. First one smashed to the middle and then on the other side of the body. Gosh, she was put back to that flick serve, Lee Young. Service over, nine. 13. I'm not sure we saw that, but I can tell you, after that error from Wang Chilin at the back of the court, Li Yang didn't turn round and make eye contact with his partner. And that oh. bothers me a little bit. Oh. Yeah. They both looked body language disappointed. That's some partnership, I think so, but these two there, their schoolmates yeah. from back in the days. Big serve is long. Well, Service I think we're pretty over. much at the Ten, stage 15. of now or never as far as the Olympic champions are concerned. They've got to start closing down this gap. Yeah, they've just exchanged points, and that's the problem, having a big deficit to um, catch up on. We need to get on a good run of points. Yeah. 11, 15. Yeah. Probably one of the solutions in terms of winning this flat game, trying to block it in front of uh, Kusuma Wadana. It's Rambitan who's the most likely player to uh, 
Move forward, search the net. Well, see if it wasn't good enough, the drop shot from Lee Yang. Too loose. They're just stepping into everything. Yeah. The Indonesians, they're playing so well. Even when they're defending, they're looking to be positive. Look at that. Stepping forward, saw a half opportunity to come in. And that's why he's super good, Kusumo Wadana, when he comes from the mid-court area to watch the net. He's so quick on his feet. Uh, so he um, very often reaches earlier than you would expect. forward again 17, 11. and once again making the difference Good play. Yeah. Thirteen, seventeen. Good power. Still possible. It is. But again, it's got to be almost perfect from now on. Yeah, can't afford to give the Indonesians any cheap points because the Indonesians are playing so well. Yeah, look at that return of service, lovely. Yeah, and a wonderful smash from Miranda Play, play. Three points away from a place in the quarter-final. In only their second ever appearance. Oh, that's landed in. Oh, oh what a challenging. Kusuma, yeah. were there any challenges called in? Second appearance at the Indonesia Open. First last year in Bali, where they lost at this stage. Second round. Here we go. Yeah, you were right, Steve. Correction. Great challenge. Oh. And they're just two points 13. away from a first ever Play. quarter final at this event. Good serve again. One point to a guard. Match point, 13. Oh, my goodness. Service over. Well, there was 14, terrible 20. indecision earlier on in the rally Intention. from the Rambatan. But well, he still managed to play what seemed a very good drop shot. Yeah. to that 8-2 lead. 
and the Asian champions Kasuma Wadana and Rambatan have beaten the Olympic champions Li Yang and Wang Chilin. Three games, but my goodness. They are an exciting young pair. Well, delighted with the victory, and so they should be. Uh, they thoroughly deserved it. They really took the game to their opponents. So confirmation of the scoreline, 21-16, 17-21, 21-14 in the deciding game, a match lasting 55 minutes. So welcome back to second round action of the East Ventures Indonesia Open here in Estonia.